iron oxide copper gold iocg deposits definition iron oxide gold copper deposits encompass a wide spectrum of sulfide deficient low titanium magnetite and or hematite or bodies of hydrothermal origin which contain more than 20 percent iron oxides Within the deposits, the ore is hosted in brachias and or veins and also occurs as disseminations. The deposits are polymetallic, being composed of two or more of the elements, copper, gold, silver, uranium, bismuth, cobalt, niobium, phosphorus, vanadium, REEs, and iron. These are associated with continental A to I type alkali to granitic intrusions and a large fault zones. What are A-type granites? A-type granites are those with high SiO2, Na2O, K2O, iron to magnesium ratios, Y, Zr, Rees, and F. These granites have high crystallization temperatures, 900 to 1000 degrees centigrade, and are commonly associated with Archean cratons and extensional settings. What are I-type granites? I-type granites means derived from an igneous protolith that have high Na2O. The deposits form at shallow crystal levels in extensional continental settings such as intracratonic rifts, continental magmatic arcs, and bake arc basins. Margins of arc and cratons appear to be particularly favorable for the formation of these deposits. Distribution and age. Currently, economic IOCG deposits are relatively uncommon. However, subeconomic deposits are abundant and widely distributed in both space and geological time. They are found on all continents and range in age from the recent back to the late Archean classification. A consequence of the diversity of IOCG deposits along with the lack of understanding is the divergent opinions on their genesis and the way to classify them. With all the ongoing debate, probably the most realistic and simplest classification is to divide them into two main types based on the composition of the host rocks, calc alkaline and alkaline. Number one, calc alkaline types, 1.1, Olympic dam subtype, 1.2, Glencray subtype, number three, Corona subtype, number two, alkaline types, 2.1, Elabora subtype, 2.2, Bayan or Bo subtype. Or elements, grades, and tonnages. These deposits as a whole are major sources of iron, copper, gold, uranium, RE, fluorine, vermiculite, and significant sources of SE, TE, and ZR. Mineralogy and textures. One of the most striking characteristics of IOCG deposits is their alteration zones. There appear to be three main types of alteration. Number one, soric cal cal calcic. Number two, iron rich. Number three, potassic. The ore forming stage is often associated with potassic alteration, consisting of calf feldspar and or sericite with or without fluorite, iron carbonate, fluorite, monazite, titanite, rutile and iron copper sulfides. Host rocks. Host rocks of IOCG deposits are varied and do not appear to constitute a diagnostic feature. They include coeval and or pre-existing sedimentary, mafic and felsic volcanic and plutonic rocks as well as schist and anises. These serve as lithological permeability, contrast, or chemical traits for fluids associated with long-lived batholiths or for very reactive fluids from short-lived magnetism such as carbonatite stocks. 
All the deposits formed in oxidized settings, such as the pre existing iron formations, oxidized plutonic volcanic environments, iron rich sediments, or reactive units along major faults. Geological setting IOCG deposits vary widely, but what they all seem to have in common is number one, proximity to an Archean craton. Number two, extensional settings, intracratonic to continental arc, reef structures, and a regional scale long lived fault zones. Number three, presence of A or I type granites with intermediate to mafic fishes, indicative of a sustained magmatic system over a long period of time. Number four, structural control of the mineralization. Number fifth, Oxidized settings. Number six, extensive brachiation, both fault induced and hydrothermal. Thank you.